guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how i part for box braids or knotless box braids and today i will be parting for medium knotless box braids so first step i like to part down the middle so that my rows are equal on both sides i know for this size i'm going to do five rows on each side so i will part down the middle and then section that out by just parting on this back of the ear and parting it from ear to up in the middle. So this is what it should look like. I have my both of my sections in the front already parted out from ear to ear. So on this part, I like to section it out separately. So I know I'm gonna do about two rows here for this size that I want. So I will take it from the top of the ear all the way to the other side on the top of the ear. When doing this part, you do wanna make sure that that bottom row is directly at the top of that ear. You do not wanna to be too far down because then it's gonna throw off the row. So just make sure when you do that, you go back and check it, make sure it's straight and it's right at the top of that ear. So now to the top, this is where I'm making the five rows. So all I'm gonna do is section out five rows to the size that I want. I know the size that I want is going to equal to the amount of five rows. So just make sure they're all the same exact size. Okay, so we have all five rows on one side. Now it's time to do it on the next side. And this is what it should look like when all five rows are done. They're all the same size. And if you mess up, you can always just go back and make sure the rows are all equal sizes. Okay, so now it's time for the middle. You want the middle rows to match your front of your hair rows, which is the five rows. So I will part down the middle because it's so much hair, 
And it's just much easier if you slice that down the middle first. And we're going to make the five rows here. And how we make the five rows match is we'll just take the previous rows that we did in the front and we'll match them to the middle. And I will show you how to do that now. So I'm using the front row as my guide and I'm just going to start from that end of that front row and just guide it to the middle, making sure that that row in the middle is the same size as the row in the front. So use that part as your guide. I'm going to show you on the opposite side so that you can see it very clear. To make sure everything goes pretty smooth, you want to break the hair down to be out the way so you can see your rows so that if you mess up or anything, you can always go back and fix it. So I just braid it away and start the next row. Okay, so now that I got all the rows done, this is what it should look like. Five rows going up. So I used those front rows and guided it to the middle. So now I'm going to do it on this side. And this is how you can see it very clear, how I take the part that I already have in the front and guide it to the other side. So I'm going to start from the back here so that you can clearly see how I'm doing it. That's why that middle part is kind of important because it's a guide for you. So when you see on the side here, if that part right there is different from the part in the front, you can always go through and just fix it. But you do want them equal because those are your all your rows and you want all your rows to be the same size so that your braids don't be like bigger part and then a middle smaller part. And, you know, so you want to make sure they're all the exact same size. And then again, I'll just braid it down to get it out the way. Okay, so these last two rows that I'm parting out here, you can see that that last top um, row is like really kind of small, but it's okay because that goes into the top um, row. It's just smaller. So you're kind of going in like a U in a way. So that last little pieces that goes into the braid at the top. So you will see once I braid it away that they all still connect. Just make sure it's the same size. Okay, see, if you can see now, everything is up and braided up. So those little, that little last piece does go into the braid at the top. So now you see how everything is equally done. There's five rows on each side. So now for the bottom row, I am going to just do two rows. So once again, for smaller or larger, you would just go 
um, more rows, but I know I want two rows at the back. So if their nape area, meaning the back of their head, is bigger, you might can fit three for that size. If they have a smaller back area, you can fit two, depending on the sizes that you want to go. And like I said, again, with this size, I know it's medium. I know I want two rows back there. Okay, so all I'm doing is just braiding the last row away just so um, I can get started. So I do feel that pre-parting the hair does save a lot of time. You might feel like it's taking a lot of time in the beginning, but the more you get used to it, the faster you go through it. But I do feel like it helps you a lot because I think I take more time parting the hair than braiding. So I'd rather just get the parts out the way. So if this was helpful, make sure you let me know below. Um, if you want to see like um, parting for larger or smaller, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But I really do feel like this is a helpful tip, especially for people that have trouble with parting the hair. So now let's get to the knotless braids. So I already finished a lot of the braids, but I'm showing you how I do them. Um, I saturate the hair with um, any type of product that you like. I use Shine and Jam or um, other things that I feel that I want to use at the time. But I saturate the hair and then I split it into three equal pieces. And then um, I gradually add the hair in. I always kind of start off smaller pieces and then I add some in until I get the desired size that I like. So I'll split it up into three here and then I will add the hair in. So starting off a little smaller and then add a few more pieces until the size that I want is there and then I'll braid it down. I'll let you guys watch me do a few of them so you can see how I do it.
Okay, you guys, I'm all done with the braids, but you know I'm going to add a little bit of baby hair to that. She naturally has baby hair, so I just put a little edge control on there, and I'm just going to do a couple little swoops and, you know, just sauce it up for the finishing touches. All right, you guys, so for the moment of truth, <laughs> we're all done here. I already dipped it, and, um, you know, I put the, these wrap strips on here to dry up the product that I put on the top, but that is it. These are the medium knotless box braids. We did use pre-stretched hair, and they actually are very lightweight, so I felt like I completed the assignment. <laughs> if you guys feel the same way, make sure you give me a like, comment, and subscribe and like i said in the beginning if you want to see different um sizes of parting like maybe larger or smaller leave that in the comment section below thank you guys for watching